Hello everyone and welcome to GuruSquad.com. My name is Ahmed Amin. I'll be demonstrating uh, GS Copy Pro, uh, which is a command line utility that gives you the option to copy and synchronize files from one folder to another. So it's a, basically a folder replicator. Uh, that folder can be on the same computer or it could be on a different computer. Um, additionally, it gives you the option to copy open and locked files. I'll be demonstrating today how this is done and um, the sample that I've chosen is basically SQL locked files so like LDF and MDF files as you know if SQL is running and you've got uh, database files these database files cannot be copied easily because they're exclusively locked um, I'll give you an example I'm going to drag a lot uh, an LDF file right here try to copy it and it will give me an error right away so what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to go ahead and try to use GS Copy Pro to copy these files from from the SQL folder, data folder, to another drive that's sitting on the same computer. And we're going to be doing it through GS Copy Pro. But first, let me tell you a little bit about GS Copy Pro. It's basically a command line utility. It does not require installation on the server. It can work in Windows 2003. Windows 2008, 2008 R2, and Windows 2012. Of course it works as well on Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Vista and Windows 8. The only requirement you should need, you should have as a prerequisite is you need to install .NET, Microsoft .NET Framework 4. Um, However, other than that, you don't have to install this utility. It does not write to the registry. You just download it, put it in a folder, extract it, and then start using it. To look at all the different builds and whistles uh, GS Copy Pro gives you, you can just type GS Copy Pro in question mark, and you'll notice it will give you examples about all the different features and things you could do with it. Um, it's pretty much the same as RoboCopy, except it gives you the option really to uh, copy open files. So you do GS Copy Pro, and then you type the destination. You're going to put quotes. And if anytime you have spaces in your destination or source, you have to type quotes. So I'm typing GS Copy Pro source. This is the source, and then the location is going to be going to H colon. I'm going to put that in quotes because I'm going to put spaces. H colon data SQL backup. And I'm going to say I want to use the mirror option. So that's MIR. Mirror basically it will make sure the destination is always matching the source. So if you create new files in destination that do not match, don't have a match in the source, they will be deleted. Just so it can match your source always. Or you can do also copy all. I'm going to create a log on, so I can review that log at a later time. I'll put the log on h colon backslash log dot log sql txt and then I use the file lock this is your file lock option if you go up here copy locked files and open files in order to and I can just press enter you notice my log got created and my SQL data SQL backup folder got created it's trying to copy that file and notice that this file is open and I created a backup copy of it now it moves on to the next LDF file and then it goes on to the next and next and so forth Now that the backup has completed, we see that it's gotten, um, we see a summary of the backup, what got 
basically backed up how many files, how many folders, if it skipped any files. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to proceed, make another backup copy. This is just basically subsequent uh, runs that you would run. It will not copy all the files, it will only copy what got modified, only the files that got modified. So I press up arrow, it's got it selected, I press enter, notice one file that got modified so it's trying to make a copy of it one of the SQL files and it said you know it's going to invoke the backup agent basically the open file agent and it did it and it's completed and it gives you the report that it's gotten completed if I go right here if I want to compare files I go right click data properties it's 13 files 5971640032 If you notice the source matches the destination. So this is an easy way of um, demonstrating what GS Copy Pro can do for you. And you can also of course look at the logs and what took place and you know what time and how long the job took for later if you or to keep it documented. Um, this can easily be attached to uh, scheduled tasks, so if you wanted to automate this, it's, it's easily done, you can, just like the way you would have always done it with uh, Robocopy. I hope this was informative for you, and uh, thank you very much for viewing.